So welcome to this video class. So in this class, I am going to cover the applications of our differentiation, especially here we are we are doing the physical applications of differentiation. So let us see the introduction. The differentiation of y with respect to the variable x is dy by dx. So dy by dx means differentiation of y with respect to x. dy by dx means differentiation of y with respect to x. It indicates, means dy by dx indicates, it indicates the rate of change of y with respect to the variable x. So here, this dy by dx indicates rate of change in this variable y with respect to the variable x. Here, this numerator variable is called dependent variable dependent variable so this denominator variable x is called independent variable independent variable so why we are calling this y as dependent variable why we are calling this x as independent variable means so it, here this y is depending on x so suppose observe here so in this example so let us take uh, the variable y in terms of x, x power 4, so y is x power 4 plus x cube plus 1. So now find out dy by dx, means d differentiate y with respect to x, which is equals to d by dx of x power 4 plus x cube plus 1. So this is equals to d by dx of x power 4, 4x four cube plus d by dx of x cube 3x square plus d by dx of 1 0 4x cube plus 3x square so now this y is depending on x with respect to the x this y is changing as this function so this function becomes this function by applying differentiation with respect to x so suppose we can apply the differentiation with respect to other variable also we can find this one also dy by dt or dy by d theta. So here we have to differentiate this y with respect to t. We have to differentiate y with respect to theta. So but here what we did, we did the differentiation of this with respect to x. So we get this answer. So finally numerator variable is always depending on the denominator variable. But denominator variable x does not depending on any other variable. Here we have x, here also we have x. x as it is only, only changes occurred in the y. So y changes, y changed. That's why we are calling this numerator variable as dependent variable, denominator variable as independent variable, right. So dy by dx means differentiation of y with respect to x. In other words, rate of change in y with respect to x. Okay, right. Let, so let, let us take uh, one vector. Let s be the displacement vector in terms of t. So here t is in time, t is time here. So I am taking s vector in terms of t. Then the velocity, what is the definition of velocity? Rate of change in displacement is velocity. So rate of change in displacement, rate of change in y s with respect to t, rate of change in s with respect to t, rate of change in displacement with respect to t is velocity. This is the definition of velocity. Rate of change in displacement is velocity. So in generally velocity we denote with capital V. So velocity V equals to rate of change in displacement ds by dt. Right. What is the definition of acceleration? So we denote acceleration with small a. So rate of change in velocity is acceleration. So that is dv by dt. Rate of change in y with respect to is acceleration. Or we can differentiate twice to this uh, displacement vector. So if we differentiate two times with respect to, to t to this function, we get acceleration d square s by dt square. Means here we are, we are substituting in place of v equals ds by dt. d by dt of ds by dt. That is d square s by dt square. We are getting this. So now let us see one example. If s is equals to t square minus 4t plus 3 then find velocity and acceleration when t equal to 4. So in this chapter 
we have to understand question carefully if you understand question carefully we can give the answer easily so first we have to write all the things what he has given the question so we have to write the terms what we have to do also so this statement is most important so we have to observe what he has given what we have to do so this is a standard statement so first of all we have to observe clearly what he has given so observe here so he has given in this problem s s is equals to t square minus 4t plus 3 so we have to find velocity v and acceleration a we have to find velocity and acceleration when t equal 4 we have to find velocity at t equal 4 we have to find acceleration at t equal 4 what is v formula ds by dt at t equal 4 so we have to find this what is a formula dv by dt at t equal 4 so let us find these two so first of all we want to find velocity and acceleration then we will find velocity and acceleration at t equal 4 so velocity velocity v equal to what is the velocity formula ds by dt right so just keep this d by dt as t substitute s value of s is t square minus 40 plus 3 apply your linear property d by dt of first one d by dt of second one d by dt of third one so d by dt of t square just we can take minus 4 outside from second differentiation so minus 4 into d by dt of t plus d by dt of constant right so we have this step d by dt of t square minus 4 into d by dt of t plus d by dt of 3 so d by dt of t square is 2t minus 4 as it is d by dt of t is 1 plus d by dt of constant always 0 so 2t as it is minus 4 into 1 4 2t minus 4 this is velocity now find out acceleration acceleration formula is dv by dt so d by dt as it is substitute v value here v is so here we got uh, v 2t minus 4 substitute 2t minus 4 here so again apply your linear property d by dt of first one d by dt of second one then take 2 outside here so I am taking 2 outside here 2 into d by dt of t minus d by dt of 4 so 2 as it is d by dt of t 1 differentiation of 1 with respect to so differentiation of t with respect to t is 1 minus d by dt of constant 0 2 into 1 2 minus 0 2 minus 0 is 2 so this is aggregation now we have to find velocity and acceleration when t is equals to 4 so velocity at t equal 4 v at t equal 4 what is v ds by dt at t equal 4 so what is ds by dt so already we know ds by dt value we, we found this so substitute here ds by dt that is 2t minus 4 so 2t minus 4 at t equal 4 now substitute t equal to 4 here so 2 as it is in place of t I am writing 4 minus 4 2 into 4 8 minus 4 8 minus 4 4 4 units per second so then we have to find acceleration when t equal to 4 so observe here so we have to find acceleration at t equal to 4 a at t equal to 4 which is equal to so what is a formula dv by dt at t equal to 4 just we got sir, dv by dt so dv by dt a is 2 dv by dt is 2 so dv by dt at t equal 4 substitute in place of t equal 4 there is no 2 t here so no need to substitute just keep as it is this 2 here so 2 units per second so if you like this video share and subscribe and give thumbs up